In this example, we'll be using Sonison Audio Note Taker to create an essay plan and also create an essay to be submitted by a student. The context of this example is that students who are writing essays at all levels and other academic work will be supported from using their notes within a particular classroom setting and then progressing those to completing an essay or a piece of academic writing. They will allow to organise their thoughts and also their tasks and the outcome at the end is that they can actually submit a piece of work in Microsoft Word as they would in any other situation. The outcome for the teacher is that they are able to gain essays that have been created by all of their students, regardless of the academic challenges that that particular student may have. In this example, the student initially will use Audio Note Taker for the prime purpose of Audio Note Taker, which of course was note taking. The student can record their lesson, as is shown here with the audio bars and then use the colour keys to indicate different elements of this particular session. The second phase of this process was that after the lesson the student then can listen back and they can also then begin to write some thoughts into the text pane in terms of what they were thinking when they were listening to that particular piece of information. They can also insert a section which they've done here and call that an audio summary. The audio summary just gives the student the opportunity to actually create a 30 second review of what they have created within that particular lesson. The next phase is for the student to uncover the reference pane. In here what the student will be able to do is once they've listened back to the audio, gather some thoughts, finally they will then be able to bring in some references that pertain to each of these two sections, meaning that their essay plan is already coming together at the very early stage of their learning. Finally, they will then be able to insert images into the images pane, either by copy and pasting or simply by right click on the images pane and importing those. So here we have the source, the references, the ideas and the initial audio. The students then can edit this, manipulate it and finally they may then decide to listen back and begin to actually transcribe their thoughts into Audio Note Taker. Once they're happy with this, they can then export text and images and then just decide to export the text pane. This then will be created in terms of a Word document and this can then be submitted to the instructor or the teacher 